We have breaking news from women's basketball. LSU star Angel Reese declaring for the WNBA draft. She made the announcement to Vogue, telling the magazine her goal is to be one of the greatest basketball players ever. Led the LSU Tigers to a national title last season, but eliminated in the Elite Eight by Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes a couple of days ago. Reese projected to go number seven overall in our latest mock draft at CBSSports.com. That draft is coming up Monday, April 15th, only about uh, 12 days away. Let's bring in our women's basketball analyst, Erica Ayala here. Erica, uh, Reese with that decision to go to the WNBA, how do you see her skills translating at that next level? We know that Angel Reese has been very effective for LSU, particularly on the boards. She's a fantastic rebounder, and that is going to be something that, of course, will attract WNBA teams. Where her game might have some difficulty transitioning is on the offensive side. Again, Angel Reese, a great perimeter player. You can see her points per game, and again, the rebounds, as I mentioned just a moment ago. However, when you look at mid-range or even even further than that, in the WNBA, we're seeing players one through five not only take shots from the perimeter, but it, be able to make those shots consistently. So I think Angel Reese will have a little bit of difficulty transitioning, transitioning, excuse me, offensively, but it's certainly uh, nothing that can't be worked on. Projected seventh in our latest mock at CBSSports.com. Do you think there's a chance? she goes higher than maybe her, her game would translate just because of the star power and marketability she'll have? I think that her marketability, if we're looking at that for sure, there is something to be said there. And this is a professional women's basketball league. These teams are playing to win, and you only need to look at how free agency has been turning out the last handful of years. So sure, we've seen that arguably in other drafts, people alluding to maybe players going to a particular market for that fit. And, you know, it, what I think you see is the more successful franchises are able to keep their young talent in the pipeline and grow and develop with them. I'm looking at, uh, you know, Asia Wilson, who came out of South Carolina and was exactly what the Las Vegas team needed to anchor a, a, a group now that could go for a third championship. So I hear that argument. I think Angel Reese will be fantastic when it comes to marketing the WNBA. And I think that the game still has to match the team for both parties to be successful. And Ace is one of those teams that not, not only is winning, but exploding in popularity, selling out the entire season before it has even begun. As for LSU and Kim Mulkey falling short of the final four this year, Reese is going to leave. Haley Van List's future is up in the air. What does the future hold for that program? Well, I think that we saw that they do have some young talent that has been able to take on leadership. Flaget talked to us in Albany about just that. And so every year, and Kim Mulkey and a lot of the other coaches have talked about this, every year things have changed now that we do have things like the, the portal and NIL. And so when you lose someone who is averaging, you know, double-double numbers, that's that's significant. And you still have, again, Flaget, Anissa Morrow has been right there there alongside Angel Reese with their dynamic duo, a double punch combination. So you see what you can get perhaps in the portal. You look at what you have already and you move forward. All right, Erica Ayala here as Angel Reese declares for the WNBA draft, which is 12 days away, a projected top 10 pick. The Eye on College Basketball podcast doing some women's basketball coverage as well. Ashley Nicole Moss and Tarika Foster Brasby be on the episodes coming up as we preview the women's final four, which begins Friday from Cleveland.